In this video, we will walk you through our automation tool called Workbench. Workbench is a game changer as it elevates your online SMS campaigns and optimizes your customer's journey through automation and smart targeting. Let's dive in. Head over to Automation, then Workbench. On this page, you will select Create Workflow. In this section, you will have the opportunity to select a pre-built template of your choice or start from scratch. As you can see, there are over 50 templates to choose from, so we encourage you to start here as it can always help give you ideas or guide you if you're new to Workbench. For this tutorial, we will be starting from scratch. Next, let's talk about selecting a trigger. This step is crucial in creating your workflow. How do you want this workflow to begin? There are numerous options available, so be sure to review them carefully when setting up your workflow. The most commonly used triggers are when contacts subscribe via keyword or online signup form, or when contacts are added to your Trumpy account via import or integrated systems such as Zapier, Shopify, or Salesforce. But there are many other triggers available that you can find in this first step of setting up a workflow. Please note that you are able to add additional conditions to this trigger once you move on from this step. For this tutorial, we'll use the trigger contact added added to the list. This trigger will initiate the workflow when a contact is added to the specific list of your choice. Once the list is selected, Click on Start to begin. Now let's begin designing our workflow and introduce you to the workflow tiles. You can drag and drop these tiles and connect them together to build out a workflow. All the contacts that trigger your workflow will go through the workflow logic you build in here. Workbench makes easy campaigns easier and makes complex campaigns possible. On the right hand side within the workflow section, you'll find your flow control and action tiles. Flow control tiles enable you to move contacts within the workflow by creating different branches with various conditions, such as wait conditions, pauses, split contacts, or end the workflow. Action tiles, on the other hand, allow you to perform various actions within a workflow such as sending a message via SMS slash MMS or email, asking questions and handling and or capturing their responses, sending an alert internal SMS to your team, updating contact with data on the fly, or moving them to a different list. Action tiles even allow you to jump to a different workflow. We have found that the Ask Question tile to be the most frequently utilized one which is why we've created a video demoing it separately. There are a few workbench settings that are important to set up before activating any workflow. Each workflow is required to have a unique name duration, which is defaulted to set as endless, and a re-enrollment policy. This policy decides how you want to handle contacts that have already triggered this workflow. This is a very simple workflow we built out. It triggers for all new subscribers who sign up using the keyword VIP. Once they sign up, these users are rewarded with a coupon code after they answer two simple questions. Although the first two action tiles are Ask Question tiles, they are set up differently. The first one thanks the user for signing up and prompts the user to respond back with their email address. As you can see, it is set up to capture users' responses in the email data field. The second Ask Question tile is a multiple choice question tile. It asks the question about their preference for shoes and gives them four options. Depending on which one they choose, subscribers automatically receive targeted messages with a unique coupon code. As you can see, this straightforward workflow can effectively gather your clients emails for future marketing endeavors and distribute targeted coupons tailored to their preferences. And that wraps up our walkthrough of Workbench. 
our powerful automation tool designed to enhance your SMS campaigns. Whether you're a seasoned user or new to Workbench, we hope this tutorial has provided valuable insights into its functionalities and how to create an effective workflow. If you have any further questions or need assistance, our support team is always here to help. Thank you for joining us and happy automating with Workbench.